What is up guys? My name is Jordan Jones and this is basically my story of coming out and telling my family I'm gay. I'm 16 years old, I just turned 16 and in fact just today on July 15th I just told my dad that I'm gay and I'll tell you how that went close to the end because I'm going to go in order from the, when I first told my sister and my mom to when I just told my dad. Basically, it all started when I was about finishing elementary school. Of course, I was held back a year, my fifth grade year. So, it was when I was about 10, maybe 11, I had a feeling because I'd hang out with my friends and they would be talking about all the girls they liked and I'd be sitting there and I wouldn't know how they felt because I don't I didn't see girls like that and then it hit me whenever I was hanging out with one of my friends and I was telling her about it and she said well you might be gay and she asked me how do you look at guys I said well some guys I really like them like how you like guys or how like they like the girls and she said yeah you might be gay and so I was that was when it first hit me that I might and I had always had a feeling because I hung out with my sister mostly all through my life until a few in fact, a year, two years ago, when she just went off the basic. But before that, after my mom and my dad got the divorce, I was just always by my sister's side. Wherever she went, I was. She was hanging out with her 15, actually at the time it was like 10 year old friends, I'd be with her. Because we just, we were so close, I didn't want to leave her side. And then she was in fact the first person I told, myself. My mom knew from the beginning that I was gay. Because a mother, I guess she knows her child, so she knew. And then it all went on from there. Because my mom never confronted me about it. She wanted me to tell her. Then I was at a friend's birthday party. And I was like, you know what? It's time I told my sister. So I call, I texted my sister. And I told her, you know, I'm gay, right? And she's like, yeah, I've always known. You No know, typical teenage boy wants to hang out with his sister 24-7. We just kind of laughed at it and all that. And we were joking around having fun. And she says, you know what? No matter what you choose, I'm going to be by your side. And that made me feel really nice. And it showed me that no matter what I said or what I did, she'd always be there for me. And then next, I had gone through a phase after that because I had just started middle school and everyone was trashing on the gay people. They were gay bashing, not just me. They didn't know, but they just would make fun of me in general about being gay and all that when they didn't know. They were just making jokes. So I went home one day and I flipped out. And I just, if you, not in this room, but at my old house, my mom's house, there was writing all over the walls about me being gay and all that. And it, I just lost it. My mom had, my sister and my mom had to put, had to literally hold me down and stop me from hurting myself. After that, my mom, I told her, she said the same thing as my sister, I'll support you no matter what. And then my brother, my sister had told him for me because I, me and my brother never got along well. We'd always fight. There was times when he'd say he hated me. I'd say I hated him. I remember one time he chased me around with a weed whacker. We went, we fought a lot. But then after my sister had left, we started to see that, well, what are we fighting for? Because it turns out we were only fighting for my sister's affection. And I got it because I was so close. So he got jealous and all that. And he's one of the reasons why I was able to do what I did today. And then 8th grade year started. And this is about 3 years after my 5th grade year when I told my mom. And I was in a class my first period. It was probably the most homophobic class I've ever seen. They crack all these jokes. And one day, this one kid, his name was Jordan too, he stood up in class and he just said, Jordan, why are you so gay? And in fact, I had lost it, because recently they were making jokes, and then I had wrote a paper on homosexuality, and the, 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 homo, the homosexuals are being bullied and all that. So I got sent to the counselors, and an intern from UTEP was interested in my story. So then I had told her, and she said she talked to the students, which never happened. She told, this is exactly what the counselors did. They pulled them out of class one day and told them, you need to stop making gay jokes in this class. 
They stopped for a week, and then they started again. Ever since then, nothing was done, which is why when I have a problem now, I don't go to counselors or anything. I go to my friends, my parents, or I keep it to myself, and I solve it myself. Because I learned that counselors are never going to do anything for you. But that's just what I went through with my counselors. Maybe yours are different. I don't know. And then after that year, even after sixth grade year, I knew for sure, yeah, I was gay because the way, like I said, the way I looked at guys, I knew that no one, at first I thought it was abnormal me being gay, so I thought no one normal looks at a guy like that because you're a guy. But now I see that it's just how I was born. And honestly, that poster that's falling in the back is a Lady Gaga poster. She's one of the people who helped me see that I was like, I was born like this. That poster is exactly a Born This Way poster. My sister got it for me. And then I started high school this year. I'm a freshman now. Well, now I'm going to be a senior because it's not a sophomore because it's my summer break. And my freshman year was pretty good. The people at my school, most of my friends know. Some of the schools know because I don't try to hide it anymore. In fact, I got so sick of hiding it, even in 8th grade. Because in 7th grade, I went to Nolan. And I would walk, talk, and even flirt with girls just not to be picked on. And then one of my friends, Brianna, she literally slapped the fuck out of me and told me I need to stop lying to myself. And so I did that, and now at my high school, of course there are gay jokes. Of course people don't like me because if they find out I'm gay, they don't like me for that. They don't like my attitude. It doesn't bother me. I have my friends for me. So this year, I met, I joined probably the best page you can join if you want to tell your parents or anyone that you're gay and you're having problems. It's on Facebook, the coming out and support page. Coming out and showing support. On that page, I had posted about a month or two months ago that I was ready to finally tell my dad I was gay. And Honestly, because I've had gay friends whose dads, they told them they got disowned. So I was being a complete wimp. I was afraid that was going to happen. My dad would hate me and disown me. Because me and my dad, yeah, he's my father, but we haven't had the best relationship. And, well, he, I thought this, because he was raised in Brooklyn and all that. Born and raised in Brooklyn, moved down here, married my mom. And he's a state trooper, so I figured him he wouldn't support me like I know he does now because I just told him at about one today and while well, on the page I had posted and it was anonymous not my first post was anonymous because I didn't want anyone to know and everyone was so supportive they told me this and one of the people now one of my friends on the page I met him there he told me to add him and he can help me tell my dad well, he's part of the reason why I'm making this video. Because I want to be able to show you all that it's... It's weird coming out to your parents. It's gonna feel like they're gonna be mad at you, but whether they're mad or not, they're still... Even if they say they don't love you, they love you. Because I can guarantee you, if you end up in a hospital, and they knew you were gay, they don't care about you being gay, as long as you're okay. As long as you're healthy. And I'm getting off topic, I'm sorry. And then so, today, my dad came over right before, during his lunch hour, and he was in full uniform and he, we went out to Golden Corral. It took us about five minutes to get our table because his card wouldn't work. So we had to go to Wells Fargo, which is across the street, got the money, and we sat down. What I planned on doing was waiting till dessert. That way we can have a normal lunch and just talk about normal things and not get on the subject yet. Well. I always get a salad first, and before I even finished half of my salad, he asked me, "What are you going to try? What do you want to tell me?" And he knew I wanted to tell him something because that's why I asked him if he can come get me and we can talk. And so I kind of sat there, and I told him that I've known for the longest time. I've known, and everyone's known for two, three years. I've been afraid to tell you, I've had, because I've had many times to tell him, we hang out a lot whenever, like, because he'd take me out of school, because we would try to get my state ID, I could have told him then, I could have told him when he took me and my brother and my cousin out to eat, I've had all these chances and I just wimped out every time, because I was afraid. Well, after what Ryan had told me, the guy, my friend, 
it showed me that I need to not be afraid. Whether he says he supports me or not, as long as he knows, I should be happy. Of course, I wouldn't be ecstatic if he said, well, you're not my son anymore, but I know he knows and it's for the best. And so when I had told, whenever he mentioned that, I sat there and I was like, you know, I've been wanting to tell you for a long time, but I'm gay. And he just kind of sat there and he's like, what is the one thing I asked you for since you were a kid? And then the answer, because he taught us this, the one thing he's ever going to ask for is the truth from us. And so I, I answered him the truth. And he's like, yes. So why would I be ashamed, mad about you telling me the truth about you? I just kind of sat there and smiled. And he's like, no matter what you choose in life, I will be your father. And I will love you. I just kind of got that stupid ass smile on my face why I couldn't stop smiling and after that we kind of just sat there we were supposed to only take an hour it took us two hours and we we only ate for like 30 minutes for an hour and 30 minutes we just sat there and talked about me and then this isn't related to me coming out but this is related to all of you my dad calls the Jones family the smartest stupid family there is because we don't push ourselves like we should what I did today was probably the most challenging thing I've done in my life. And I've done a lot of challenging things. I just want to say, if you want to come out to your parents and you don't know how, go to the coming out or showing support page on Facebook. Just type it in the search bar and it should be the first thing. The picture is a red box with two white lines on it. Now I've been talking for about 12 minutes. It may be cut down, I'm not sure. It's all up to Ryan, what he wants to use and what he doesn't. But that page is probably the best page that I know of because I didn't go to, I didn't use many gay pages. Gay support pages, I didn't. Because I was trying to lie to myself for the past year. So go to that page if you can, or go to another support page. And you can just message the page itself and you don't have to tell them your name. They, they'll know your name, but they won't put it in the post until you put it in the post. You can just put, I'm a 16-year-old male, I'm a 16-year-old female, I'm bisexual, I'm bicurious, I'm gay, I'm... Sh Even if, like, bicurious people, transgender, it doesn't matter, at that page you will be supported. You, will be, you won't be hated on by us. I'm sure if someone comes into the page who doesn't support us, they'll say something, but you just gotta learn to ignore them. It, all that matters is that you love yourself more than others. You just love yourself no matter what you do in life. Let's say you don't accomplish your dream, like I want to be a music teacher. Even if I don't do that, I'm going to love myself because I've, I tried. I did my best. Like my dad says, as long as you're healthy, you're in school, and you're not in jail, you're healthy fed, not in school or in jail. You're not in school and not in jail. You've accomplished quite a lot. And from where I grew, grew up in El Paso, that is a lot because mostly all of my friends have had problems with police. But I choose not to follow that because I know I was raised better. So just remember, I went off topic so bad, but the point of this, I came out to my parents. I came out to my family. I came out to my friends. And I'm gonna come out to my school. Just never forget that it, there is someone who can be there to help you. No matter what happens in life, no matter what road you take, there's going to be someone there who cares about you and wants to help you get through life. So, I want to thank you for the time, for watching this extremely long 15 minute video. And remember to check out the page. I'm repeating myself a lot, but I just want to make sure that you know you're not alone. It does get better no matter what happens because I was picked on in 8th grade, now I'm one of the top of my class. So it gets better, life moves on, don't dread on the past like I do. You've had a bad past, the past is past, you can't change the past. If you look at the past too much, you miss tomorrow. So, just love yourself no matter what you go through. Know that there is always someone there for you. Whether they don't seem like it or not, there's going to be someone there. So I thank you for the time. And this was my coming out story and my advice. Thank you.